Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Jam Goes Ham, back again with another Fallout 4 video. And in this video, I'll be showing you my Sunshine Tidings build that I've been working on for the past, uh, like, month and a half. Probably my biggest build yet. If not, it's pretty damn close, but my uh, character here, General Diraj, he just got a shave and a haircut, so... He looks a little different, if uh, anybody noticed. <laughs> I doubt anybody would, but... Check this shit out, guys. I This is, like, my favorite build yet. <laughs> I know I always take forever to go in at the beginning of my videos. And I take forever to start, but... Sorry about that. Up here, we got a sniper watching out. We got two turrets. And I got this sign here from Gruffy Didi's uh, sign mod there. Ghouls welcome, synths welcome. And when you're a newcomer here. That place is nothing but yeah, shut up. When you're a newcomer here, your first time, she'll tell you to go in here. See, I got the sign that says first. And it says sign in. And usually. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Jeez, I don't know if their voices are loud for you, but they're loud for me. Hold on. So anyways, you come in here and sign in. She's supposed to be sitting down at the desk, but she barely ever is. And after that, if they notice something that's, like, wrong with your background check or whatever, they send you over to here to get a background check. Alright, so... <laughs> I said that wrong. You go there and sign in, and if you want to become a Minuteman, you come over here to get a background check. So, if you're just here to visit, you just have to sign in over there. But this, you can also, you know, we also recruit. Like, this is a huge settlement because it's a farm, and we need, fa you know, obviously we need food to survive. So this is like one of our most important settlements. So we have... Uh, like a little capital building here, kind of. It's not like the capital of the Minutemen, but that's like a town hall for us here. Sorry, I keep rambling on. <laughs> but yeah, so you want to become Minutemen, like this flamingo here. You come on in, sit down, wait for your number to be called. There's supposed to be somebody here. And, uh, I deleted some mod and it got rid of some of my stuff around. There was a chair here with a radio. So, this was supposed to be, like, the communication center behind this desk. But anyway, you get your, uh, background check. They got all the files, like, back here. All kinds of old stuff in storage that, you know, we've been around for, like, two years now, I'd say. So, we've got some, uh, some information built up. But, pretty, pretty nice little tiny check-in area. And then coming up here is the guards' quarters. Well, two of them anyway. Probably the one that's there and the one that's up there. They probably live here. And one of them really, really likes cram, I guess. I don't know. I've never tried it. I've tried, uh, you know, the real life spam. <laughs> and it's not that bad. I don't know. I don't hate it, but a lot of people do. I'm not a synth, I assure you. But up here, I made a nice little spot for him to sit down and relax during his shifts. And if he sees anybody coming, he shoots them in the head if they are trying to attack, you know. If not, he's got to ask them what they're doing and stuff. Of course, he didn't say anything to me because I am the general, you know. I'm special, big, big special guy around here. <clears throat> Excuse me. In here, we actually have like a secret, like no one's supposed to know about this place. And I was going to put a scientist in here, but I totally forgot about it. But we have like a lot of vegetables and plants and fruits here. And we're feeding like a lot of people. Like they come in here. This is our main farm. And in this room here is 
where we hired a guy and we have uh, Institute Technology and we're trying to get our plants to grow better and feed more people and produce more, you know, bigger fruits and vegetables. And we didn't want anyone to know it was here because then they would definitely come attack this place. But we already get attacked a lot because it's a farm. That's why I ended up making it into this humongous settlement. Because I figured, you know, a, a farm in the apocalypse is probably one of the most important things. Other than uh, water. <laughs> you know, food and water are the two main things. I think my game froze. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hasn't happened in a while. It was happening all the time. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright guys, sorry about that. I reloaded the game. And let's try to you know see some of this before it crashes again I've been having a problem with that lately I think it's because of the my load order or something I don't know but we got the notice board here on the on the back of this barn here and this is our police station and this is all right across from where we just were so I'm not sure where to go first we just checked out that building I guess we'll go to our little town hall here. Oh yeah, see how I did the second, third, first, second, and third on the uh, buildings? That's where you stop, like, in importance. Like, you go first, because that's the most important to sign in, and then you get your background check, and then you can come here to see the general. This is our dog out here, one of our junkyard dogs, Duke. I gave him a nice little area right here with some toys and stuff. And over here is the shed that was here. And it's just like, it was in an awful spot. <laughs> or I just built around it badly, I mean. I just filled it with a bunch of junk. And I was going to do something over here. If you guys have any suggestions of what I should do over here. Like I put this here and the dog. I figured that was enough. But leave any suggestions you got down below. Oh, I thought this was a mailbox. This is supposed to be a mailbox. That if anyone has any uh, letters for me, they just throw them in there. Or, uh, I don't know. Is there even a mailbox besides that little one? I don't know, but anyway, that's the newsstand. This is supposed to be the mailbox. So, I built this huge building here about two months ago, probably, when I started working on this settlement. So, yeah, I've been doing this a while. Keeps crashing. So, in here we have some Minutemen memorabilia on display. That's just like the regular Minutemen outfit with a hat and a... Uh, revolutionary sword. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Well, that's supposed to be on the outside. We got a big cannon, and then there's supposed to be somebody sitting there. And I had the double staircase going up, and I liked the look of it, but I didn't like having both doors. And I figured, it's the apocalypse, so I just blocked off one door, because up there is my room. And if people don't like it too bad, you know, I'm the general and I built all this. <laughs> and I killed these death claws and I own you. <laughs> you must obey the general. No, I'm not really like that, but it does sound like that. And here's just two workers' uh, cubicles to assist with. They're like my assistants, I guess. I don't know. Help with all my paperwork and all that. And this is our big meeting room. And this is my chair. And this is Preston's chair. He's my second in command. I do have it all, like, figured out. Like, when I, I don't script anything to say in these videos. So then I always just sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. But I have my hierarchy thing set up. 
and all kinds of other things that we'll talk about eventually but up here is my office where I took a really nice picture of me sitting in this chair and I posted it on the fallout amino thing and I noticed one of these bottles was floating and I got all kinds of likes on it and stuff and then I'm like I guess I made the bottle float but <laughs> anyways this is my desk I really like this I just plopped the Minuteman symbol in, on the front of it and it just I don't know it looks amazing and I stacked up a bunch of cash and caps and stuff and I know that uh, cash is useless like I have it over by the outhouses out there to wipe our asses with but <laughs> it still looks cool cause you know it looks cool and here we got another militia hat and I got some gold and some water so I can you know stow myself in here if I ever really have to bunch of pool cues and pool balls and pool sticks and all the pool stuff <laughs> and yeah we got a pool table and a gnome riding a boat and some handcuffs cuz uh, you know how I like it the, the <laughs> you know how I like it the general likes it kinky what the hell that isn't supposed to be there that's supposed to be like all the way in there but I don't know just a little place for the general to relax aka me smoking corner a tracking device so if anyone wants to find me I'm just like I'm right here if anyone wants to come and get me but they all they're all dead already and it's of course bulletproof glass <laughs> and there's a picture of me and Nora I guess anyways yeah that's my office I don't know I feel like I'm going really slow but I spent so much time on it I don't want to miss anything this has got to be my favorite of the entire build, my farmer's market. But I want to show you it during the day. But this is what it looks like in the evening time. But, oh my god, look how much stuff is in here. It's so cool. This is probably going to have to be a two-part video. Yeah, it's already getting pretty long. So, Alright, everybody, that was part number one of my sunshine tidings co-op build and I guess I kept the same name just sunshine tidings co-op because I built the farmers market and whatnot but nevertheless I will see you in the next one thanks for watching